Here's an overview of the super simple CNC machine. The x-axis is a movable table of its own, made of a, a square with a threaded rod through the inside, mounted there, attached to it via a pulley system. I would have liked to have used timing belts, but I hadn't got enough money. So the table moves that way, and the tool goes up and down that way, and back and forth that way. All three axes use heavy duty draw sliders as their linear bearings. This is the Y axis here, which has also got the X axis attached to it. The Z axis, which is the up and down axis, has got a threaded rod down there with a bolt sandwiched between two pieces of wood, which enable it to go up and down when the motor turns. What's been used here is a Dremel. I've attached it with brackets made of polymorph plastic which is moldable which is moldable plastic at low temperatures so I made the motor brackets out of the same stuff which holds them down again I could have used metal but I had none so this is the back of the machine which is slightly easier to see the y-axis and the bolts that go through the, uh, the threaded rod and the fact that it's sandwiched there in between two pieces of wood and that is then sandwiched here in between two pieces of wood which are attached to the draw sliders if you'd like to know more, please feel free to read the instructables that I've written about how to build your very own super simple CNC machine using nothing more than some wood at all. Wood, saw, tools, whatever. This is the boring bit, but I thought I'd include a quick, very quick show with actually uh, routing something out. There's still quite a bit of configuration that needs to be done and I need to test everything. Because even though I've built the machine now, I feel that I've only just started learning what I need to know to be able to use it. If you want to know more, you can check out the links below or 